Well, right now, classes are resuming as usual. They've just simply moved students out of this culinary building here, just beyond where this hole opened up. You can see a lot of officials standing around at this point. They're near that uh, potential sinkhole that has opened up. We're saying potential because we don't know exactly what it is, but I have spoken to officials here and they tell me that they do not believe that it's the cause of a burst pipe. But if you look at some of the aerials that we have from this scene overhead, you can see just how large this hole is. Um, and we don't know at this point whether or not it's growing. We can see that they have spray painted some of the sidewalk around it. They typically do that when a hole opens up because they need to be able to measure whether or not it's growing and whether or not it's starts creeping towards the lines that they do. So they, they'll typically make those perimeters around a hole just to keep an eye on uh, its movement, its progress. So at this point, school is still going on here at Tarpon Springs High School. No one has been evacuated per se, uh, but they've simply moved the students that would normally be having classes this morning in the Culinary Arts Academy here uh, over to another part of the facility. And again, at this point, they are not sure whether or not we are dealing with a sinkhole. They have told me uh, that they have, uh, that they don't believe that it is related to anything underground, um, but they are staying on top of this. They're obviously monitoring this very closely, and it'll probably be up to a geologist to make that call. So we probably won't know whether or not we can officially call this a sinkhole for some time, but we are keeping an eye on the situation out here. The perimeter of the hole has, uh, has widened even since last check. All right, Kelly Cowan, thank you.